Hello, Crystal here. I am going to show you how to knit the Tostada scarf, which is a super simple garter stitch scarf with easy yarn over increases, and it uses just one hank of hand dyed fingering weight yarn. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a number five yarn and a six millimeter needle, but if you are working this up in the recommended four ply fingering weight yarn, I used uh, three and a half millimeter needles, but this will be much easier for you to see. Okay, so to get started, we are going to cast on three. So I'll start with a slip knot on my needle and I'll just do a quick long tail cast on. So my slip knot will count as my first one. And then I'm going to cast on two. So here is number three. You can use any cast on method for this um, easy scarf pattern. Okay, so now we are going to knit by going in this first stitch here toward the back. Wrap the yarn over the needle. Uh oh, there we go. Wrap the yarn over the needle, bring it forward and up. Slide it off. And then we'll repeat that. Okay. I'm going to turn. And we are going to knit again. So here is, this is the side we're going to increase on. To make it super simple for yourself, you can put a locking stitch marker in there. And you'll know when you're on the side that has the red stitch marker that it will be an increase side. Okay, so I'll knit the first stitch. And then I'm going to do a yarn over. I'm knitting here, so I need to bring my yarn forward and wrap it on the right needle from the front to the back. Now it's going to be loose until I knit the next stitch. I'm going to hold on to it with my finger and then just move into knitting the next stitch. And then I can let go and I have increased with one stitch here. That's my yarn over. Now I'm going to knit to the end. See if I can fix this split yarn I did. There we go. All right. Okay, so now instead of three stitches, I have four, and you can see the little eyelet we've made there. It'll be less obvious on your smaller fingering weight yarn. Turn, and now I'm just going to knit all of these. So here's my yarn over, which you can see is much bigger and looser than my regular knit stitches. There we go. And I always pull those ending and beginning stitches a little tighter because of the edges tend to be loose. Okay, so now we're on the side that has our red stitch marker. So we're gonna knit one yarn over and then knit across. Knit one to yarn over. We're going to bring it forward and wrap it over the right needle. Insert my needle to the next one to knit the next stitch. We've increased again and we're just knitting to the end here. You can see my yarn over there. Turning, knitting all. We're on the right side again. Knit the first stitch, yarn over, knit to the end. Oops. 
Oh my goodness. There we go. So now you can see my yarn over eyelets here that are along the edges of our scarf. And you can see how we have a straight edge growing here or working up here and our increase edge is all on this side. So we will continue to simple two row repeat, knitting all on the back. So there's your, your yarn over stitch, which is looser. There we go. And then we'll turn and on our right side, which we have with the marker, which you might want to move up so it's more obviously on the front face and not the tip there. Now it's going to be time to increase with our yarn over. We'll just knit the first stitch, yarn over, knit the next stitch in each stitch across. And we'll just keep working in this manner until our little triangle scarf is worked up. We've used up all of our yarn. And you can see how our edge here makes kind of a nice decorative eyelet that is super simple to make. And that's it. That's how you knit the Tostada scarf. I'm gonna work up a few more inches off camera and then I'll bind off for you. Okay, I've worked up a little bit more of the Tostada scarf. Just continuing the simple two row repeat where you knit, yarn over, knit, and then knit all on the back and keep repeating those two rows until your increase edge and uh, your length are as long and as wide as you would like or you run out of yarn. This uh, pattern makes up one scarf with uh, about 430 yards of fingering weight yarn. But obviously you can continue the pattern to make a larger shawl size as well. And I'm using here number five bulky weight yarn. It's, it's a pretty thin number five, but, and a six millimeter needle. So it is working up quite nicely in this weight yarn as well. So I think this pattern will work for a variety of yarn weights. The um, thing I'm going to show you now is when you finish, when your triangle is as big as you like, you can bind off simply by using a regular bind off stitch. So we are going to knit the first two. I do bind off um, as loose as I can without being crazy so that my stitches aren't too tight because binding does tend to have a little bit tighter edge. So I knit the first two, insert my left needle into the first stitch, pull it over the second stitch, and then I pull that stitch up just a little bit, again, trying to keep it loose. Knit, knit the next one, move that first stitch over the second, pull up a little bit, and keep repeating that across. Knit one more, so you always have two. Pull the first one loop over the second, after I get a little bit on here, you'll see how the bind off edge looks. Okay, so there we have our nice, neat bind-off edge. It's not terribly stretchy and it's not terribly tight. So it kind of kept the same, uh, the same width there that we had. And that's it. You can cut your yarn and weave in your ends and you're all set. Block your scarf and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you liked this pattern, please visit Christicodesign.com for more tutorials and free patterns. And be sure to check out how to style this scarf. I'll link that video up as well.